Sitting 17th on the ladder, a win was non-negotiable for the Kangaroos and they came in with an overwhelming record against Melbourne, winning their last eight between the sides. But the seventh place Dees were coming off a big win and were keen to make their presence felt. Lyndon Dunn went into the book for a collision with Daniel Pratt. Michael Newton was making the most of his opportunity, opening the scoring and laying a tackle to set up Jack Watts. So a little bit slow, free kick advantage paid. Watts from 50, draws it low and hard for a goal. North replied through Lee Adams. So drop punt, this is a beauty. And North Melbourne on the board. But it was Newton frustrating the Kangaroos. I'd have him off the ground and in the grandstand for that because it just kills you. Pratt cuffed the D forward, making it a certain goal after 50 metres. The defender got his marching orders, Brad Scott ready to send a strong message. The Ds were looking to smash their Etihad Stadium hoodoo and they jumped out to a 31 point lead. That is superb. <laughs> but the Roos pegged back some ground with two late goals. The last goal of the quarter though came after some dodgy North Melbourne defensive work, allowing Clint Bartram to cement a four goal lead at the first break. Stuttering approach, he jabs at it but kicks it straight. Back in the side after a 10 goal haul in the VFL, Aaron Edwards struck early. Loose man, it's Edwards, he takes the mark, plays on and kicks a goal. And while Scott still had some complaints, he couldn't fault Jack Zeebel's attack on the contest and the ball movement as Brent Harvey pulled the ruse within six points on his 33rd birthday. Got the loose player, Harvey went over the top, Brent. Brent decides to go all the way himself. What a wonderful coaster coaster for the North. The goals dried up in the second. Jarrow claimed his third. Todd Goldstein provided the highlight. The former basketballer getting plenty of air, his side going to the main break seven points behind. That was quickly erased as the ruse jumped out of the blocks. Over to Petrie to Harvey from 30, what a start this would be, Edwards, yes! Edwards was on fire, going alone, the ruse kicking nine of the last 11 goals. to play on and go for goal, he's kicked goal number five! When Daniel Wells clamped Neville Jetta, he made no mistake. A free kick against Jenner for holding the ball and it'll come back to Daniel Wells. Hard angle as you can see, but he just casually pops it through. Dee's fans couldn't believe the turnaround, but the Demons rallied, moving back to within two points. Now he can get one for himself here. Ricky Pettit kicks towards goal. It's going to be a close call. It's home. Another momentum shift and Lachlan Hansen was leading the charge. He landed two in two minutes. Wells was sitting pretty for his third goal, calmly slotting to put his side in the box seat. For his third goal and to make the margin 20 points. The margin was 21 points at the final break and Melbourne had injury problems. Colin Garland and Rowan Bale out of action. North Melbourne were fit and firing. Wells even unleashing an old-fashioned torpedo to put teammates in the clear. Ball to the back, Edwards, who's kicked five. Good handball to Harvey. Poach it out in front of Frawley. Brent Harvey, this could be a sealer. Early in the last, Harvey kicks a beauty. When Goldstein scored, the Kangaroos were away. Comes out to Goldstein. Another goal for the Roos. In front of more than 23,500 fans, Edwards completed a great return. Oh, he's got loose players forward of the play. One of them is Edwards. He can well sit and kick goal number six. Well held. Drew Petrie managed to break the shackles. Oh, it's a mark two against one and Drew Petrie. He couldn't convert, but it didn't matter. Third game, Akiran Harper showing some silky skills. Right, brilliant little tap. Harper kicks a goal. The Kangaroos stretching their winning streak against Melbourne with a 41-point victory, 19-10, 124 to 12-11-83. Edwards finishing with six goals, three each to Harvey and Wells. Jara and Adam Marrick, three apiece for Melbourne. Brett Clancy, Big Pond Sport.